everyone, I am Ken, and that is Buff Pro, and today we're checking out Unexpected, where we've already watched one episode of this, I actually watched a couple episodes of this, but this certain couple, Emily and Diego, were following up, oh, so... yeah! Yeah, just a refresher is Emily was a cheerleader, and Diego was a football player, and Diego is, he's so mean to everyone, but he's nice to me, but now Diego got her pregnant. And now, Diego ain't so nice to her no more. And, yeah. A mother in tears, teenage father-to-be has no respect for his pregnant girlfriend or anyone else. But before we get to that, look at the graph. Please hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. I think you'll like the videos. If you like if you like one of them, you like them all because they're basically kind of the same thing as over and over again. I think it's great. It's a wonderful system we have here. Uh, of course, you can check out Buffer on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, leave a like, do all that cool stuff. Appreciate you. How's game? I called my Nana and told my Nana that I missed my period and that I took a pregnancy test and that it was positive. Nana! I called my Nana. Hey, hang on, I gotta just look. This dude right here, heck yeah. Man. That is cool. Is that Howie? <laughs> it does look like our friend Howie, doesn't it? A little bit. Just a little bit, man, I like it, I like it. That's what happened, and huh. Bridget was born two weeks before my 16th birthday. God, that grandma went a shotgun wedding, okay. I got pregnant at 15 so I could get married. Huh. Wow. Well, the apple don't fall far from the tree, Grandma. <laughs> Here we go again. But she's not doing it to get married. No, no, no. She's no, no, no. Gypsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The gypsy brides. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, they say if your feet can touch the ground, you're old enough to get married. Oh. It seems like our lives have kind of paralleled one another, and she's not as strong willed as I am. And oh. I want to protect her. Jeez. Call her, call her out. You know, she's she's a little, she's a little weak. You know, she is, <laughs> she ain't as strong as her old grandma over here. Man, nowhere near as strong as me. Oh wait, you she sitting right here beside me? Oops. <laughs> she's looking at her like, excuse me, grandma, you're like freaking eighty years older than me. Yeah. <laughs> looking at her like, grandma, I'll fight you right now. Like, what's wrong with you? We don't see who's strong. Somebody's phone's going off. It ain't hers, because ain't nobody got that ringtone. Mm -mm. Diego is a junior in high school and going to be the father of my grandbaby. I don't dislike Diego. I just don't think he's the right one for my daughter. She doesn't dislike Diego. She hates Diego. <laughs> <laughs> she does not like Diego yeah. at all. I'm freaking rolling, rolling her neck right now. She's like, mm -hmm, I don't dislike Diego, but uh, bruh, F that dude. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to convince herself, I think, with that one. Like, you know, I don't... Oh, like dislike him. I don't want to completely cut him out of my daughter and you know granddaughter's life or grandchild's life, but uh, I ain't gonna be mad if he never comes around again. <laughs> she needs somebody that is supportive, that isn't so hateful all the time. He may wake up tomorrow and change and be that person, but as of right now. <laughs> no, this dude's gonna be a douchebag his whole life. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's oh true. man. And, and wasn't mom kind of like like really throwing shade on at her daughter like super hard in the last episode? Yeah, yeah, it feels awkward. Oh, she needs somebody real supportive. Like, well, I don't know that person because it ain't me. I, <laughs> yeah, you know? right. Yeah, I, I got another reason I'm so hard like uh, on Diego. Uh, aside from the situation, it's because I feel like I knew dudes like Diego when I was like going through high school. You know, growing up, I hated them. Hated yeah, them. I absolutely absolutely hated those guys. And then after. High school, you know. Still do. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 become, they become the manager at your local Walmart or something. And talk about their high school glory days, and that's about it. Yeah, <clears> they're <throat> cops in, in where I grew up. Cops, yeah. They become your cop, the, the, yeah. local, the local cops. Yeah, and yeah, they just yeah. love them even more because now they have, like, their superiority complex going on to where they can <laughs> continue to be mean to you. Continue to do the same thing. It's like, yo, dude, seriously. <laughs> what are we doing here? I mean, maybe I mean he's he's silly. He's got his whole life ahead of him. Maybe he'll become like a star football player and make all that money. And you know, we still won't care because it's not. It's, this is not a Darman video. We're not going to be like, oh, we talk trash and we regret it because he got rich. <laughs> I agree. He he is rude. He is even that way to you, and and I don't like him doing that to you. She is she going to sleep right now? She's just like, oh, no, oh, don't tell me, don't, don't tell me what. Everyone else thinks. I don't want to hear it. I love him, but he don't love me. I don't like him doing that to you. But if you can handle it, hey, that's your choice. It's not that she can handle it. It's just she ain't got no choice but to handle it. Like, yeah, this the like... baby's on the way. Like, they make it seem like it's her choice right now. Like, yo, 
She already made that one. In my mind, there is no hope for this relationship, period. If they force it right. to like stay together and make it work, this is going to be just, this is yeah. the makings of an abusive relationship. It's going to be awful. Like, it's not, yeah. it's not going to be good. If you were not pregnant, would you still be with Diego? Um. Hell no. So with the way he's treating me right hey, now, no. That's what I hoped you'd say. I would hope that the two of you would not be together if there wasn't a baby. And I don't think that it's right to stay together because of the baby. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You want you want to raise right. your kid in an environment where your parents hate each other? That's going to teach them. You know, that's going to cause so many issues for so many people later. Just make that dude pay his child support and go find go find you a real man, you know? I mean, exactly. of course, uh, so a real man. I mean, <clears throat> someone that right. will be supportive <laughs> after you graduate high school. Cause like, go find your real, like, go find your older man. You 16 year old. No, don't do that. <laughs> no, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's give this advice. And I'm like thinking about the actual details of the situation. I'm like, Ooh, you know, <laughs> just, just eventually she'll find that guy that will step up and support her and the baby. And, yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, be a good dude. Yeah. You know, there's, there's even probably like, if she like just, other dudes that she can date that would probably anybody would be more supportive than Diego. I mama. stayed four years trying to make it work so that you had a mom and a dad together, and it just continued to get worse. I understand what she's saying, but like, but she's my mom, and like they have advice and like experience in the exact same situation that I am in. But like, uh, uh yeah, God. Sometimes that's hard to oh, it's hard to accept. Sometimes I'm gonna have to go through this with my kids, and I'm gonna be like, hey. I'm an old man and I've lived my life and I've been through many of these trials and tribulations that you're going through. I have some advice. And they're going to be like, nah, dad. Don't want, don't want. <laughs> fine, fine. Go, go, go make those same mistakes. And then whenever you're old, be like, oh man, I, wow, I wish I would have listened to you when I was a kid. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. Your life would have been a lot easier. I'm it's that guy that's just going to show up and be like, listen here. Don't do it like Uncle Dane. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And I do get it way more than you would think I do. It took you four years with my dad. I've only been with him for a year. Oh my gosh. Shut up! Oh, wow. Jesus! She wants to change him. She's no, making me so mad. I know. I know. I don't, what, 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 was, what, what did she even say? I've only been with him. It took you four years to figure out that it didn't work. Actually, you knew the whole time, but you're trying to force it. I already know it's not going to work, too, but I'm, I've already been trying for a year and it's not working. So my, my logic. <laughs> I don't know. Don't Maybe grandma it. already got a sauce so salty. You know, she's just like, all right, all right. Well, look, I ain't strong as grandma, but I'm stronger than mom, at least. All right. You had a child, yes. too, with my dad. And, and so I left earlier. And you've seen started. what it did to you. I'm just saying there's could Break be hope. Break the cycle. I'm saying there could be hope, mom. There's no hope. There's no hope. Break the, cycle, yo. Break the cycle. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the hardest part of growing up is you learn that things just don't work out no matter how bad you want them to. And I guess it's just a lesson you just got to learn. Like we all know this ain't working out. It just ain't. Yeah. And exactly. if it does, it's a miracle. It's painful. It hurts me. You know, God. <laughs> it's that saying, man. I like the saying. It's always been used to like talk junk, like, Get off the track when the train's coming through. I hear the train, baby. It's coming. Burr, burr. <laughs> you just gotta get off the tracks. It's like, oh, get off the tracks right yes. now. I think it's worse to be in a relationship and the significant other isn't really there. Yeah, if Diego liked you, he wouldn't treat you like this. Exactly. So on the flip side, from Diego's side, you know, like the, oh, you know, I'm having this baby. I want to stay with him, you know, for the baby. And on Diego's side, he wants out, obviously. Uh, is like, oh man, well, now the pressure of she wants to make it work for the baby, and then if I dip out, then I'm the bad guy. I don't, it's like, there's no, there's no actual reason, right, to for the healthy relationship to happen here. And then the point. kid is the one who's gonna be really losing out here. It's, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even worried about the other two. Uh, the yeah. kid's the one that's gonna be losing out. Well, and honestly, everybody's losing out. Oh, Nobody fair. is going to be happy. Nobody. Not one You're single right. person. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yay. Everybody's happy except for Diego. I'm Diego. I'm 17. And my girlfriend, Emily, is having a baby. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend, Emily, is having a baby. Uh, deflated. I knew she wouldn't be yeah. too clingy, or so I thought at the time. Wow. Because, you know, if I'm playing sports and all this other jazz, I don't want someone blowing up my phone. Wow. Wow. He doesn't, he's like, yo, I, I didn't want anyone that would commit 
<laughs> to me or like me. All right. I was just trying to have a dude. I hate Diego right now so bad. <sighs> and this is I'm, this is not me taking Diego's side because obviously we hate Diego, right? But it sounded like Diego was just trying to have a normal high school relationship, but then he messed up. Fair. Fair. And now he's got a baby, and he's just like. Oh, well, I didn't think it would be like this. Ugh. 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 Now that she's got a baby, she's like oh, calling me and stuff. You know, even even dating then, right? It's like, well, you know, hey, you know, let's communicate. It's a relationship, right? You gotta learn how to do it. You gotta learn oh, how to have man. a relationship. Yeah, that's that's or... yeah. It's like God learning. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> no way. High school relationships. Even people like they're in their graduate high school, like your early 20 year old friends that are like dating and stuff. And you hear what the stuff, like their stories and stuff they're talking about. You're just like, it, it hurts. Cause you're just like, man, yeah, you obviously don't get it. <laughs> there's this, there, there's this very important part of like a relationship working out that it takes a long time to figure out. Here's some more, here's some more advice from a married man. And, and, it didn't really happen to me until we got married. I, I didn't get it either. The, the thing that I didn't get is that you just have to be less selfish. Like yeah. you have to think about the other person in the relationship. And I know that sounds like obvious, but think about your own relationship. You watching at home. Is it that obvious? You know, you just have to, you have to meet in the middle and you both have to be willing to do so right now in their relationship. She's pregnant. And she's forced to like, you know, she's, she's trying to bring Diego in, but Diego is not meeting her in the middle. He's staying right where he was being, you know, self-centered. But of course he's a young guy. That's your, that's, that's how it is when you're young. You're the only person that exists in your world. Yeah, uh, exactly. And he's not going to just make that transition because he's being forced to, and he doesn't want to. So he's going to resist it, you know, and it's just going to make, the relationship fall apart even harder. I don't, I don't know. It's just on a tangent here. It's, it's, <laughs> it's no, I get it. They, they're just too young. They're too young for this. This is this is forced on them, and it sucks for both everyone. For everyone, yeah. it's tough. I think every step of like of uh, my relation, like with me and Mary, like getting married, and you know having to be think less about myself and more about us, and you know, not making sacrifice, making compromises on things, and then having yeah. kids, it's even more so. You got to be less, you know, centered on yourself and make more compromises. It's all about <laughs> the more serious your relationships and the bigger your family gets, the more compromises you have to make with other people, and uh, that's what keeps it all together. It's just it does compromising. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like I like the advice. I think that's that is coming from man, that's why you got the dad shirt on right now. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. <laughs> but the thing is that advice doesn't make sense to a lot of people until they get to like certain points in their lives. You have like, oh dude, you have to be at that point. You have to be ready to to hear it. To, yeah, there's to, like to understand it. There's there's like some for like probably some nineteen year old watching this video right now that's just like, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking what is this what is this <laughs> trust me yo like trust me like this year was a big curve for me too it was like oh you know what maybe i'm not right about everything i <laughs> you know I mean? that's crazy I, maybe there's wow. another point of view hmm. yeah maybe Jesus. <laughs> I, I, if they were if if they, if they were watching this video for advice, they stopped listening to me too. Just like their parents, their parents have tried to tell them the same thing, probably. <laughs> yep. <sighs> and I'm here because Emily told me to be here. <laughs> so. And it's like our baby shower. We need to be there. It's your baby shower. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's wow. The, yeah, he's already taking himself out of the equation. It's your baby shower. You're the one yeah. that wants to do this. You, yeah, yeah. I, not me. I don't want to do this. He's like, I've done my part. I've donated the sperm. What do you mean? Like, yeah. I'm done, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Daddy, I, see you. I leave. You know, I'll see you in. Uh, I'll see you in. I don't know. I'll see you in 20 years when I show back up my kid's life and have regret because I'm an old man and didn't actually try to raise my kid or anything. And then nobody wants to have anything to do with me. And then I'll be like, oh man, that sucks. You want to go and help her open those because those are just uh, as much for you too. Alrighty. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. You want to? No. I don't right, want I to. Will, I don't want to be here at all. <laughs> In front of the room and acting like that is not going to be a good thing for Diego because... Oh, this is... Diego, bro, watch out! Dad's going to freaking... Oh, my God! No! Is that Diego's dad? You know this guy's got dad strength. Holy crap. More diapers. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 
that we already got. Bro. <laughs> What does he think this Thank is? Like you. a birthday party? <laughs> like Christmas? Like, bro, it's for the baby, dude. Like, like, bro, let me tell you about some diapers. You, you think, yeah, we already got some. You're going to need about, <laughs> you're going to need quite a few more boxes, bro. <laughs> you know, wish they kept holding these, homie. <laughs> Was that it? Yeah. All right. That's it. Well, everybody, glad you came. See you. I have to go home. Diego acts like this all the time. Oh, my God. Yeah, screw Diego. Yeah. yeah, he's like, oh, I don't want to be here. Yo, dude, do you think she does at this point? Do you think you've made her comfortable to where she wants to be there? I acted like this. My mom was there. Dude, my whole, my cousins would beat me. My cousins yeah, would beat like, my mom. Like, yeah, thinking, like everybody. Like nobody would have just sat there and been like, ah, this is acceptable. Nah, heck no. It would have been, like been like a gypsy wedding up in there. Just fucking... <laughs> Exactly. I don't think there's any more clips of these guys right now. Thank God, because I don't know if I can handle it. Yeah. Uh, so let me know what you think about this whole thing. And uh, yeah, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay toast, my friends. And I love you. Hey, everybody. Glad you came. See you.